That is what I'm talking about. Look at that, and it's refined storage, which is perfect. What's up, people? I'm Zog here in the new series. This one right here, this is called Stone Block or something. My other modded series is not gone. Uh, I'm testing this one because the last one, it's getting a little bit stale for me. It's still fun, and I could find things to do, but it's just kind of starting to lead in the downward direction, I feel. Uh, and I think that is kind of translating into the views as well. And the likes are, are going, like, they're nowhere. They're nowhere. So if you like this series and you want this to continue, then hit that like button. It's going to tell me which one to continue. Uh, and maybe I'll do both for a little while. But eventually one of them will end. And if you want this one to continue, like button now. So we need 16. Oh, look. Okay, breaking stone is actually a lot faster. Oh, and this one's not. Why are, why are you... Oh, with an empty hand. Ah, very, very tricksy. Okay. Uh, already detected. Bam, loot chest claim. Done. Back. Okay, what are we going to get? Uh, we got viaducts. Because, number one, these are like... These are pretty far into thermal dynamics. And number two, we're not going to need them. Because... <laughs> they're meant for player transport and we we're underground in a st okay well you know it is what it is what's next okay so now we have a craft table bam done deal next these are these are quick i like it okay hold on super awesome awards and we got a diamond shield wow all right perfect lovely uh and yeah um all right so that's the thing Ooh. Okay, dirt is obtained using a hammer. Craft stone hammer and start smashing. Stone into cobblestone, into gravel, into dirt, into sand, into dust. How much dirt do I need? Is this enough? No. I need 10. I have 10. Wait a minute. Detect. I already did. Claim. Bam. Okay, cool. Boom. Ooh, engineer's goggles. And red ribbons. And a bow tie. Hold on. We're going to be all fancy now. Yeah, what's, what's up, people? This is so cool. Um, we look fantastic right now. You got to look spiffy in the new world, right? Right? All right, cool. So how do we, like, what? Uh, crook is used for, like, breaking leaves. Right? So we need saplings. So that way we can put the saplings on the dirt, grow the trees, and then crook the leaves in order to get silkworms to turn things into that to get string to do stuff. Right? I think I'm right. Pretty sure I'm right. This? Ooh, epic bacon! Perfect! I had no idea that dark oak was that big. Maybe it just feels... It's one of those things, you know? When you go get a, uh... <laughs> when you go get a, a, a Christmas tree, for example, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, uh, I'm not sure if there's an instance where you would bring a tree into your house, for those of you who don't. But uh, it's, it's a weird little thing, right? Because it looks so small outside the house, but as soon as you bring it inside, it's like gigantic. It's huge. It's so much bigger. And it's one of those spatial recognition things with our brains and stuff. Since there's so much extra room around the tree outside... Our brain is like, wow, in comparison to everything else, this is kind of small. But once you get inside with the walls and the roof and everything, that's when it starts to look gigantic in relation to everything else. It's, uh, it's really, it's kind of interesting, really. But it's, yeah, maybe that's what's going on here. Is this not counting? Wait a minute. Do I have to get oak? I think I have to get oak. I think I have to get oak wood. <laughs> I also got... Uh, from Tiny Progressions as a reward uh, inventory key is this. We got the Growth Crystal, which is really, really cool, actually. Um, now, it's it's only the Tier 1 Growth Crystal. There's a Tier 2 and a Tier 3. This one is slow growth. This one is fast growth. This one is fastest growth. So even though it says slow growth, it's still increasing the growth. It's still adding to it. So we don't have to worry about the default grow speed. We're going to get a slightly enhanced one in a 9x9 nine nine area, which is perfect because it's exactly the size we want to make. 
All right, so as you can see, I have yet to make a pickaxe, an axe, a shovel, a sword, any of that. I haven't made any of it. And the reason, I want to get into tinkers. Now, there's not any specific reason that I didn't just make temporary stone tools, but I didn't, I didn't really need them. There was no real reason to have them because the stone mallet breaks all the stone we need. And then a stick and a stick. Yes, check that out. Bam. Uh, and it gave us credit even though we placed these down, which is really good. I didn't even think about that. Claim back done. Now we can make ourselves some tools. I'm sure there might be something else we could get pretty quick. But I'd rather get some tools and actually start leveling them up because I believe they do indeed. As you can see there, they do have levels. Uh, these are all freshly made. I haven't even used them at all yet. But basically what we have is a flint head for all of them a wooden tool rod for all of them, and a stone extra, basically. So basically what that gives us for every single tool, if we go to this one, I believe it'll tell us. Uh, yeah, we get ecological because of the handle, so it renews itself, which is not a very good thing. It's not the best thing at all, uh, mind you, but it's pretty good-ish. Uh, we get crude, which is from the flint, it's not the highest attack. It's 2.9 versus stones 3. But it's pretty good. An extra 10% is going to boost this up a little bit there. So it's pretty good. Uh, and then you get cheap, which is increases durability gained when repairing the tool. Uh, which is also good. Now, crude doesn't really do anything as far as... Uh, like the tools are concerned, like the hatchet, the shovel, and the pickaxe. It's not the biggest deal for them. But it is the fastest speed. And obviously stone is terrible uh, as a headpiece because you get cheapskate, which is stone is bad and it actually destroys your durability, which I don't know. It used to give you like 15 durability or something. It was terrible, absolutely horrible. We also have a compressed crook, which is kind of cool. I wonder if that gives, can we do, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this. I wanna see what this does. I think this might do all the, it does like a group of leaves, I think. Like it does a large batch of them all at one time if I'm remembering correctly. So there's a uh, two, three, four. I think I have this right. I think my math is right. So if we do this, this, I think my math is right. I could be way off. I, I don't, I don't know, but whatever. We're just gonna go ahead and run, 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 run. I only run even though it wastes food because I really don't like the twerking. I really don't. Whoa, is this working? Maybe it's just, oh my goodness gracious. It's just a lot faster. Maybe that's what it is, but it's working. Would you see all the friggin' silkworms we just got? We got five of those daggone things. I, I say like a lot, but you know. All right, so now with the string, we can do that and claim this guy. Please be lucky and give me a water bucket. So I already got 16 of those. This is the second time we got that reward. We now have 32 of them, perfect. So we're gonna go actually six down. So we have a perfect five by five over here, kind of tucked into the corner. And we're gonna make 25 sieves all at one time. I believe this is a thing you can do. Uh, and what this will do is it will allow us to sieve 25 things at once. I don't know if it's a config option, which means we might only be able to do nine, but I know in Sky Factory 3, I was able to do 25 at a time, which is really, really, really cool. Now it's time to find out if we can only do a 3x3 three three or if we can do a 5x5. Five five. Yes, we can do a 5x5. Five five. Marvelous. Oh, I love it. We didn't get a whole lot there. Just a little bit of... Just a little bit of a little bit, really. I mean, it was only 25 of them, for crying out loud. So here we are, smelting up a little bit of iron. The reason we need the iron is for a bucket. This is what I've been waiting for. Uh, maybe not waiting as in waiting, just, you know, kind of looking forward to it a little bit, you know. Uh, but what I want to do is go ahead and get this cruci um, if I can spell crucible properly, maybe we could actually do something about that. But it's actually fairly easy to make, just a bunch of oak wood and balsa something somethings. And we have, do have a bunch of saplings. Uh, yeah, and see, it is indeed making uh, water. So we'll soon be able to pick that up, which is really, really good. Because over in this direction, I've been digging. This guy right here is marking the center, uh, basically where we're going to put our uh, water source. Because our growth block thingamajig, um, it is not tier 2. It is not tier 3, which means 
we actually need a water source and this thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep on digging. This guy's done. I'm gonna dig this room out. And then after that, I need to get a huge amount of dirt, which is gonna take a while. Um, it's a good thing that I have uh, a few compressed hammers because I'm probably gonna break all of these, just trying to break down a lot of this cobblestone into dirt so we can place it down Turn this side into grass and this side into a farm with regular old seeds in it. It is now time. This guy, I did not, he's not growing nearly as fast as it felt like he was growing initially, but that's okay. I mean, he is growing, it's going fine, and it is faster than a normal farm would be, so we're okay. We're okay with that. But this guy right here is about to turn into a lot of grass. It's only one block, but it will spread. It will spread for sure. And now in the future, after this goes, the only thing we need to do to, you know, put grass in somewhere, some other place, is just to pick it up with a silk touch. And silk touch is actually pretty easy to get in Tinker's something something. So yeah, we're pretty good. Can we make a watering can? How do you make a watering can? But if we do this, it should spread really, really quick. Yeah, I love this thing. This thing's fantastic. Marvelous. And this just kind of boosts it up like quite a bit. This will get this will give us a lot of grass really, really quick. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that. And it's refined storage, which is perfect. See, I'd be a little I wouldn't be upset, really, but I actually really like refined storage quite a bit more than I like uh applied energistics. Because Applied Energistics has gotten way more complicated, too complicated in my opinion, uh, over the past few years. So this refined storage is like the earlier versions of Applied Energistics and it's really, really cool. That That is really something I wanna work on. I can't remember. I think I actually have a getting started video of, of refined storage. I think I'm gonna look through there, through, look through that video and see if there's anything in it. Um, that I can't get because I usually put a pretty good resource list uh, in the in the beginning of the video. He's an involved an evolved Enderman, and he killed the crap out of me before. Apparently, you can get a Friender Pearl or something from these guys, <laughs> but I didn't get a Friendier Pearl, a Friender Pearl or something. But you tame them. Use the tame Frenderman, randomly dropped by Evolved Enderman. I don't know how you make Frenderman, or how you get Frenderman. I, I have no idea. I don't I don't know. Um, but it's cool. No idea how to get a Frenderman to spawn, but I'd like to have a Friendier Pearl if... A fr I keep saying Friendier. A Friender Pearl, if I ever run into one, it'd be really nice, because those guys are kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so we have the crucible, we have these guys. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a bunch of lava and then I'm gonna put some water source blocks on top of it and that way we get uh, a bunch of obsidian. But I'm gonna try something else here. If we take a look at the saws, let's just try this real quick because I'm not too worried about what block it is. Uh, so we're gonna get two for now because what I wanna do, I'm gonna chop you down and then we're gonna Okay, we can't, okay, we gotta chop you that way. Posts, and they'll give me corners. No, I want strips. Strips are what I like. Okay, strips we can use right over here if I do this properly. Bam, here, oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna need a corner or two. Let's get two corners. Uh, we're gonna get four corners, and I might have to get some more strips as well. But that's okay. And we put a little corner on this thing, and then we go back to our strips. Like this, 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 this. Uh, let's go ahead and put a corner on here. Or a nook. Is it called a nook? It's called a nook. Like that. And then we're going to do the same thing here, but we're going to go to this side first because that way it uses one less nook. Bam. Do we have enough? I'm not sure if we have enough. One, two, three, four, five. I think we have just enough. Nook and then strip. Perfect. So now what we can do here is actually really, really cool. Check this out. Uh, when we want to get obsidian, now this is, this is not automated or anything, but basically in order to get obsidian, you put lava in these barrels and then you put water on top. Hold on. This. Okay. There we go. 
Now we only have the rate one times because we're not getting a whole lot of, uh, we don't have like netherrack. If we got netherrack, we could melt this a lot faster. Stuff like that, but uh, we, we just don't. We're gonna go ahead and do this. I mean, we got bunches and bunches of wheat. We can make some bread. How good is bread, actually? It's probably not very good, is it? Eh, it's okay. I mean, it's doable. It's not terrible. It's a lot better than carrots and potatoes, that's for sure. It is what it is. And these guys haven't spawned yet. I think it's just because I, I haven't been able to move far enough away. Like, even the end of that hallway isn't quite far enough, I don't think. Maybe for the end of this it could be, but if I want to get all of this done, I need to go further that way or way far that way. 120 times. Wow. I had no idea Awakened Draconium was that good. Stone Torch, any kind of torch, really, uh, is one times. 20 times for Yalorium Block. 30 times for Plutonium Block. Uh, flint and steel with fire. Yeah, that's five times. That's what I was talking about. Ooh, we have mega torches and lava. Ooh, that's only three times though. If we could get a mega torch, but we don't want that because that'll stop our mob spawns unless we go, I forget. This is a decent radius. I think it's 32 blocks, but regular fire is actually better than lava. That, I had no idea. Superheating element is 60 times. <laughs> and the Wicked Draconian block is twice that. Holy crap. How do you make you? Copper, redstone. I could... Oh, it's steel. I was about to say, I could do this now. Uh, I could come close, because steel you can actually get from mechanism, if they haven't disabled it. Oh, here we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Steel blend. Enriched iron. So the metallurgy infuser, you could get that. Iron, uh, two, two coal, and one iron gives you one steel dust. So we could actually get that in an osmium thing we can get. It's glass, no problem. Copper, no problem. Redstone might be a problem. But that's just some uh, sifting, I think. If we sift the right thing, we need to sift dust in an iron stiffened mesh. Or a diamond stiffened mesh. Yeah, pretty much. And then we can get some, uh, some redstone out of it. It won't be too big of a deal. We could actually get this guy. And that would give us a lot. We might actually work towards that. All right, so we know how long. Actually, let's go get some uh, some cobblestone here. I want to see how, <laughs> how well this thing works, okay? We're basically going to, uh, oh, man, we're down to 250. I guess I could dig. I could dig this way. This would be fine. Can I reach the torch? I can. Okay, so we're going to put the superheating element right there. Supposed to see its rate is 60 times. A torch is one times. So we put this guy up now. It's uh, full of solids. This guy. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh man, that is so cool. <laughs> we can just. Oh, all the lava. All the lava, which means all the obsidian, which means we're going to very, very quickly. I only need to make one of these guys. I can wait that long. I'm fine with that. That's okay. So we can go ahead, we can get a couple buckets of lava. We go bloop, and then bloop. And then we're like, you know, ker -ploop and ker -ploop. And we go ker -ploop and ker -ploop. And we already have four obsidian. I've made the advancement ice bucket challenge. Okay, that's cool. So now we're just gonna keep stuffing this guy. Look at that, he's... <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab the buckets out of these because they do have, uh, I think like one bucket each. So it's a thing. Um, they did process a little bit on their own. Uh, we already grabbed this one to make our cobblestone generator. The rest are there. Yes. And this guy's, yeah, like that was just so, so fast. Uh, now we just need to grab a bunch of cobblestone so we can keep stuffing this guy full of it. And we're going to be, we're going to be good. We're going to have all the lava we need forever. Just with one of these guys. This is ridiculous. It's very goodly, ridic goodly? Sure. We're going to go with that. It's, it's great. It's fantastic. Okay, we, can, we need to go, oh, this is like the, re holy crap, we got a fortress like right there. This is a regular old nether. Um, I don't know if this is a good thing or bad thing. I guess it's an okay thing. It's not a terrible thing. Oh, what are you? Oh, we got, we have things. I didn't think it'd be the regular nether, but it is, look, we are so close to a friggin' blaze spawner. Holy crap. My goodness. Okay, so we have access to things now. And what I want to do, actually, what I want to do uh, nether quartz. There's a chicken. There's a nether quartz chicken that I want to see if I can find. It apparently spawns in here. Nether quartz chicken. Yeah, we need the chicken stick from a nether quartz chicken. Spawn type and how can't be bred. Yeah. Uh, so I think... Oh, it's a, only a spawn egg? Or maybe... 
I'm curious. Because they're found in the nether. I want to see what exact... We need to make the chicken stick. How do we make this? We need an egg, uh, pea, uh, some sticks, and feathers. We don't have any of that, but we could also... If we could find some... Uh, ooh, that's uh, prosperity ore there. That's inferior ore. That's more prosperity ore. That's nether quartz. Hello! F I... <sighs> I completely forgot the fact that nether quartz generates in ores in the nether. Since we have the regular nether, we can just dig it out of the walls. We've done it. We now have our system. It's obviously not working because it needs power, but we have the system itself, which is very, very important. This is good. This is magnificent. We have our little controller block down here as well, so don't worry about that. We have everything we need to absolutely bare minimum and get some kind of storage so these guys can go into here. And we're going to have plenty of storage because of that awesome reward we got. Now, that said, I actually do want this to be, like, out or, or visible somewhere or something. Uh, there is a survival generator that I would like to see about using. It's very cheap. Uh, we actually already have the two redstones. So we can make this, like, right now. Uh, and I, I don't know I don't know if it's going to be enough power because I know it is very very low amount of power but it runs for a fairly long time uh, oh I need a couple more pieces of cobblestone apparently guess what I have bunches of yes uh, so I don't know if this is a thing that will actually power this system or not it shouldn't take too much power but the survivalist generator is really really low on, on the max scale of things so what we can do boom and then I need to put in some fuel uh, we're actually gonna go ahead I got some coal in here we're gonna go ahead and just use that much coal for now can I reach this thing to actually get things to be powered there's that oh well, everything turned on okay the question is are we generating or gaining power it does not look like we're gaining any power it's using eight Right, we have four FE and four FE, where it looks like we're generating five. Although it seems to be functional, it doesn't seem like it's cutting in and out. So I think we're okay, uh, but we can't add too much more to the system. I don't believe the having items in the disk drives actually increases the power usage. I'm almost positive that it does not, but we could, technically speaking, take these three out since we don't need any more than 64,000 right now. And I believe that would reduce the power cost. It's not. Oh, yeah, it is. One. You see, it reduced it. Each one disk drive uses one FE per tick. So we can actually leave this guy out and put those three in there just to save it for now because we don't need any of that. But when we do start to run out of storage in here that's when we can actually you know pull those guys out and by that time we should have a lot better power generation this guy yeah it's generating so little power very very slowly it is crazy uh so that's just one of those things um another thing that i would like to do you can actually turn the system off uh only work with redstone signal right and this guy um, only work with redstone signal. There's a way to do this. Oh, you know what? That's what we can do. We, we do it to this guy. Okay. Um, okay. Hold on. No, 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 no. These guys can ignore it. Ignore redstone signal and ignore redstone signal. Okay. And then this guy right here only works with redstone signal and therefore it gains power all the time. Uh, and... This guy, even if it runs out of power, will still be able to use our system for a while, as long as we're keeping an eye on this to see when it runs out and stops powering things. And then, uh, basically what we can do, we should have something here. Uh, let me see, oh, here we go, perfect. I just needed two stones so I can make a pressure plate. Uh, and this is going to make a mess everywhere, but that's fine. <laughs> Get rid of all this stuff. And we can go like this. And now, it should turn on. There we go. It's very low power. That's why it's red. It's just saying it's low power, but it is fine. It's, it's exactly where it needs to be. It's not losing power, but it's not gaining power. And that's while we're standing on it. So it's just kind of one of those things. 
Uh, it's only generating five RF per tick. We're definitely gonna need some better stuff in the future, but what we can do, we can go ahead now and throw everything we have into the system and we're gonna be just fine. We now have much, much, much better storage and this is the basic idea. This is what I wanted to get done today. This is this is what I needed because I cannot stand Jess. I hate it. Vanilla Minecraft is something I do play, but it is the worst part about this whole system about Minecraft is the storage stuff. I, I, I hate it so, so much. It's really, really bad. It is so bad. Uh, that's what, uh, can I right click? I can't, okay. So I have to, it's kind of weird that I have to twist and eventually we won't have to worry about that, but it's okay for now. For now, it's just fine. We're just gonna go ahead and put everything in the system. We won't have to worry about anything. Things will be fantastic. All right, now that we have our system up and running, this guy just, it makes it look like nothing is working. <laughs> like, obviously this is not working, but that's by design right now. Um, actually, just to make it a little bit better, I tell you what we're gonna do. So we're straight. All right, goody, 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 goody. That's basically what I wanted. So that way I can just kind of turn it on and off that way. Only work with redstone signal, perfect. And now, anytime we want something, we can just walk straight up, this thing will turn on and we can access our equipment. And then once we leave, we don't have to worry about wasting any power, which is really, really good, especially this early into the game. Fan, fantastic. And pretty soon this guy's going to start generating power as well. 10,000 RF storage in this one, 32,000 in this one. And we're only using five, <laughs> five per tick. So as fast as it's going up right now, that's how fast it will go down. So even after this guy runs out of fuel, we'll still have a huge amount of time to actually mess with, uh, to play with things in there. So we're, we're good, we're good. But that is about all the time I have for this episode. If you liked it, please do hit that like button. It might actually be a long episode. I don't know. <laughs> me and my buddy were actually just talking about maybe me making some long episodes. So you guys let me know in the comments. If you've made it this far, then you guys are the best viewers and you guys have the voice that matters. So if you would like longer episodes, then let me know. Uh, down in the comment section. Just tell me what you think. 20 minute episodes, 30 minute episodes, 45 minute episodes. Let me know how long you prefer them, how much you like them. I like making these videos, so it doesn't matter at all to me. I, I can make two 20 minute videos and it'll be the same as a 45 minute video. It doesn't affect me either way. So, that's the basic idea. What would you like to see? But, if you like the video, uh, like I said, do hit the like button, please. And, uh, I uh, will see you next time, I guess. Peace out, peeps.